My name is Dennis Martinez. I'm from Riverside, California. This is a 1959 Mac B753LT is the official ID on it. <laughs> oh, it's a 673. It's a Mac Thermodyne engine. It's an original engine and it's got a five and a four quadruplex transmission. And how did you end up with this truck? Uh, my wife found it on Craigslist. She oh. likes she likes the Mac trucks. She found it about uh, I don't know three or four miles from here. And she goes, "Hey, there's this Mac upstream." Well, okay, I'm a GMC guy. So is this her truck? Technically? This is her truck. Okay. And can she drive uh, it? well, she can, but she doesn't want to. Oh. <laughs> she likes it, being driven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she likes being driven. So uh, we found it was pretty in pretty rough shape. In fact, I just kind of passed on it when I went up. We went up and looked at it at it. It was right after New Year's in 2010, I think it was. I said, nah, it's too rough. It would look just, just like that GMC that's next to it. Same patina and everything. Same color, white with black fenders. The only thing, it ran. So the guy had it running when I drove up to look at it. So anyway, I... And uh, you're like, eh. And she's yeah. like, do it, do it. Well... <laughs> The guy calls me a couple of weeks later. I left him my card. Actually, he had a tractor I wanted <laughs> more than the truck. <laughs> he calls me. I'm at work at the time, and, and he says, what about you think about Mac? I go, well, I don't know. And I said, he wanted, I think, three grand. I said, nah, maybe a couple thousand. And he goes, can you pick it up Saturday? <laughs> I'm going, oh, no. Okay, I guess I just bought a truck. <laughs> I guess I just bought a truck, and I'm going, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> And but, how did, uh, what did you do with the restoration process? Then where'd you start? Uh, well, it was stripping all the paint off for one mm -hmm. thing. Got it down to the bare metal. Did you do that yourself? I did that myself. Yeah, Lisa and I both okay. did it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, you Stripped wanted this it. truck you <laughs> <laughs> And then we had some body work to do. And some of it I set out on my defenders I had a guy do uh, as far as straightening them out. So the engine was running okay. Uh, of course, they took a lot of things off to clean them up and then put it back and transmissions were fine. Changed out the rear end. We put an air ride on it and a higher end, put a 410 rear end in it. And air conditioning. And we put air conditioning in it. Um, How'd you come to this color? We were in Kansas City, Missouri. I said, well, I'm going to look at go to the paint store here because you can buy better paint back there than you can in California because California has so many uh, restrictions environmental stuff walked into a PPG store back there and they had these samples up on the wall of colors they'd made up and Lisa was with me and she goes that's the color I want right there oh. <laughs> I said okay <laughs> and I said well we want black for the fenders so we got the black metallic fenders and then of course that they called it orange glow is what they named the, the color. You yeah, know, we walked out of that shop sixteen hundred dollars for. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but the, the truck was a deal, so that's yeah, the okay. truck was a deal. Yeah, you made up yeah. for it in paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we I got it all primered, and I had a friend of mine came over and we painted it right here in the shop. Yeah. So you did and everything. And it, we were going to do it outside, but then it started to sprinkle, so we had to move it back in and paint it inside. And then on the inside. I found these seats. I bought these uh, national seats because they didn't have air ride seats. And then took them into this uh, chrome shop where they did upholstery and they did them and they did a really nice job. They're really comfortable. And of course, put air conditioning in. I found this evaporator on the on Craigslist down in San Diego. So I went to this guy's house and had it. And it didn't quite fit, so we cut about eight inches out of it to make it fit. What's this? Oh, this is a cup. A cup holder? Cup holder, yeah. Nice. That was smart. Yeah. So, so it has a few more comforts mm -hmm. than it would have when and it was this, new. this door, <laughs> uh, I put electric windows in both doors. And this door still has an electric window. That one kept burning up the motor on my driver's side. For I think the handle was sticking. So I went back to the mechanical, put a new mechanical uh, wind up, you know. 